Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, we're going to be taking a closer look at Next Gen UI that was recently released for your iOS 7 jailbroken device. Let's get started. Alright, so as you can see here, my home screen does not look like your normal uh, home screen would look. Um, if you scroll over a page, you see I do have a couple apps uh, kind of just sitting around here, um, but I'll show you uh, what we do with those in just a minute here. So after you install the app, you're going to want to open up your settings application, and then just scroll down until you see Next Gen UI on your screen here, and go ahead and tap that and then you want to go ahead and make sure it is enabled. You can add animations and all that stuff later. Uh, it will take up a little bit extra battery if you do. That's why I have them off at the moment. Um, but you can go ahead and just click enable and then you'll just need to respring your device. All right, so from the main screen here, you'll see this big rotating circle here. If you want to go ahead and tap that, that'll you'll be able to see all the applications in your phone, is including like messages, phone, everything like that. Uh, from here, you can just tap on an app to open it. Um, so if I want to go into Cydia, there it is. Um, now, if you go over either on this page or the other page, I have some set over here. You can see that I have a couple apps just sitting up here. Um, they're not in really any particular order as of right now. Um, but what you'll do is you'll just click and hold somewhere on the screen, and then you'll see a little thing that pops up. Um, go ahead and click App, and then you'll see a list of applications here. So let's say I want to add Google Maps onto this, uh, and then I can see it right there. Now, if I click and hold, uh, you'll see I have the option to move it, delete it, whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and just move it uh, over here, kind of way in the way. So I'm going to move that again. There it is. So I have a couple of my main applications here. I can always put them you know, wherever I want on the screen, um, but it just made it easier with them right here. Now, uh, I don't know, you know how user-friendly is going to be to some folks because a lot of people you know, like how iOS 7 design is and they don't want to change something like this. I personally like this. I mean, I like the notifications it gives as well. As I just got a text message a minute ago and as you can see it shows a 1 next to my messages sign there to show that I do have a missed notification. Now as far as notification goes, you still have the same notification center by sliding down um, and also the same control center by sliding up. That does not change whatsoever. Uh, however, it's just a little bit uh, cooler way to get a hold of your apps and I actually really like this. Um, I need to you know, reorganize a little bit and get them in the same way but I've seen some really sweet designs. You can do like swirls with all your apps, you know, some crazy stuff. You have a lot more space too to put them, so you don't have you're not limited to just a little bit of screen space. You have lots of space to put, you know, wherever you want your apps to be. And that's one thing I like. Um, and then you also on the main screen have that, you know, iPhone button. This will get you into any setting. Um, you can also search for your application. Uh, cool little search bar. Um, and then if you double tap on the home button, you still do have the same. Um, uh, open taskbar so you can go through and see you know whatever um, and then as well as if you were to respring the device everything works exactly the same there's no glitches so far um, I really enjoy using it um, if you go on there there's some screenshots of some really cool designs you can do um, you can also change different background colors and themes on it um, so there's a lot of there's a lot of cool things you can do with it so if you want to go ahead and click and hold on here you'll see you have this uh, menu design opens up there's some default colors so you can change the background to you know whatever you want I just have it on green because I think it looks pretty cool just close out um, and I've actually noticed it's actually everything seems to be a little bit more responsive than on iOS 7 um, in terms of speed everything just seems to be really quick um, and I'm I'm pretty impressed with that all right, and I'm going to show you one other cool feature. Um, it's similar to like how you'd have folders on uh, iOS 7. So what you'll do is you'll click and hold, and then you'll see the menu pop up, and go ahead and click the second option. And then here you'll type in your folder name. So we'll just say hi, even though that doesn't make any sense. And then you'll choose the apps you want to go in there. So I'm going to go with uh, this one, this one, this one, this one. All right, so I got like you know a few apps in there. And then just click anywhere on the screen, and now you'll have this folder. So you open it up and you'll see your apps right here on the screen. It's pretty sweet and if you want to open one up all you have to do is just tap on it and then your application is open. Click the home button to go back and then tap out of it to get out of the screen selection. Now you can just click and hold and also delete just like that. Alright guys, that is Next Gen UI on iOS 7. Um, it's in Cydia for just a couple dollars. I think, I, I think it was like three or four dollars. It is totally worth it though. Um, and if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, leave any comments below and feel free to tweet me some pictures of your Next Gen UI. I might show them in a next video uh, when I do some more Cydia tweaks. Uh, so be sure to definitely tweet me at JB underscore iPhone 5 with some of your Next Gen UI themes.